So you don't mind if we ask you a few questions about? I have nothing to hide from you. Okay. I just, we were just at court. How did, what happened? I was on my way to You were at family court? Yes. Okay, I, I have nothing. Okay. Oh, okay. So oh. you were at family court. It was when they came to the house. But me and my husband worked at the same company. My kids loved her. And so, right. I mean, it runs in the family. So when I heard that, I was just ecstatic. Um, we all loved her. I mean, we, I treat all my kids the same way. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't different with any of my children. And I mean, and then all this happened and it just threw my family into a turmoil. I mean, it's, it's broken my heart. <laughs> experience any any postpartum with any of your children after you've given birth to them? Any postpartum, postpartum depression, anything that like was that? Diagnosed with, I mean, you know, right, I mean, I'm just not asking, because a lot of women, I mean, you have a lot of children. Yeah, that's definitely. Stressful. I don't know, I mean, I just can I mean, I would go, they would really, you know, come home with the baby and just continue life. I mean, okay. that's just what it was. Back into the groove with the other children. I mean, that's just what it was. It was just a natural thing. Okay. I know Taylor was born a little over eight pounds, correct? Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. She was either slight. Of, I think she was like eight pounds. She was right at eight pounds. Right, yes. right eight pounds. All my kids are fine. Yeah. Eight pounds, fifteen ounces. To be oh, exact. Oh, oh, was she? Okay. Yeah. Um, and when Taylor passed away at thirteen months old, she was. They said she seven. weighed seven pounds. Yeah. Yeah, which I guess I never even, I guess I never saw that. I mean, I knew she was small, but as a mother of 10 children, now 11, um, you know, my, I'm very thin, but always drank his milk, um, you know, never had a problem with feeding, just like her, I never had a problem feeding her. She never, you know, it, she never not wanted the bottle. She always wanted it, it was mm -hmm. consistent formula. Um, the charges are first to be murder. Aggravated child abuse and cruelty to animals. Aggravated child abuse of uh, my daughter and the murder for my daughter. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm very confused why I'm being charged with murder. Did you ever notice how uh, extremely underweight Taylor was for a, a 13 month old? I didn't pick up my daughter. I came home late. I laid down. I saw her. She was dressed. I mean, I didn't bathe her. I didn't do any of that. So, no, I didn't pay attention to that. We don't like asking for help. It's embarrassing. You know, that's what I kind of look at. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. We all do, you know? I agree. Sometimes just postpartum. I don't know. Like, she hasn't been diagnosed with anything. No, my wife. She's always been a good mother. She's always there for the kids. You know, she does everything she can for the kids. When you, you said you saw pictures of um, your daughter after after everything was over, and what did you think about how thin she was? Seeing the pictures, of her passed away. I didn't know. This is sound really stupid, but the person passes. I, you know, I didn't. I didn't know what to think. You know, she just. They look like my daughter. She really thin. I mean, being born at eight pounds, I mean, that's a major difference. So somewhere in there, I mean, you'd have to see that, okay, this child is putting on weight and doing fine. This child's putting on weight doing fine. And here comes Fagan. Well, he's not putting on weight. Let's get him checked out. He's going to find it. Then you have a couple more. And then Taylor, she's just sitting there, not moving, not really crawling, not responding. Everybody's telling you guys that she's different. She's not going to the doctor from what you understand, or that you never took her. And now you guys, next thing you guys know, she's being taken to the hospital because she's not breathing. And you yourself even said when you saw the pictures that you were shocked about her weight. Well, of course. So that's what we're trying to figure out is what happened between that, from the time she was born to now, that she lost weight and no one ever noticed it.